The sun is like super crazy. Today I'm gonna show you around the buildings, uh, High Tail Point and Skylark a little bit and uh, the premises and talk through you, walk through you. Okay, so buckle up. I hope you're gonna enjoy that. And I did it again. I forgot to tell you that my name is Anastasia. This is my channel and I'm talking about my migration experience. Please subscribe, like and share. The area itself is nice and quiet. We have a little park here over there and the map where you can see the person's place itself. Okay, so what I like about this area is that it's full of botanicals, greens and it's just so nice to be there. Number one place where I go when I feel moody and I just need to, you know, kind of relax. Also, we do have a playground here. We can go and check it out right now because there are no kids. Jumping area is like the best. And yeah, we tried it. Oh, and as far as I know, all you get living buildings are pet friendly. This is an entrance and you are not gonna get there without the bulb. So let's go and check it out. Okay, nice. This is a post room. There are your post boxes and bring me boxes where your deliveries could be left. There is also a restroom and few co working stations, but they are not that cozy situated. This is our reception and lobby area. If you have any question, you can ask receptionists. There are more co working spaces in the lobby area, and there's free Wi Fi, of course, and a coffee machine. The coffee is free and good, it's an espresso big coffee machine, so it's very cool. I actually feel way uncomfortable right now. When I went to the reception, there were some people and I'm still like chicken shy to film there because I don't want to distract them or just, yeah, this, I'm shy. I have a private garden, you cannot get in there unless you are a resident. So here we have elevators and actually I really love those TV screens because they add different places and events around the area so it's kind of useful. And I believe that somewhere there is a bike storage but I'm not sure where because I don't have a bike. Let's check the elevators. So yeah, you cannot go anywhere without this key. And now we are going to go to the 10th floor and see the gym, the sky bridge and some other areas. Once again, you need to use your hub key. There is a sky bridge between buildings on the 10th floor. So there are lots of common areas like gym, rooftops, co-working, kitchen, cinema, relax room. This is how the bridge looks from downstairs on the street. I don't like these colorful tiles, whatever you call them. There are people working so I'm gonna be really quiet and yes I'm not going to the gym because somebody is working out. Yeah I wanted to get to the rooftop but the door was closed so I'm not sure. Oh and this is a cinema room but somebody was working there as well. Yay, we got on one of the rooftops. I hope I'm not gonna be stuck in there. When the weather was warmer, there were also some tables and chairs out there, but right now only the benches are left. It's pretty cold, but you can still hang out there and uh, enjoy the view. Although the coffee is free, the wine is not. I mean, yeah. You need to get a card from reception and then you can bring all the wine that you want. But I've never tried it before. This is a kitchen and you can use it for dining and for making different workshops or holding events for your friends or family. It's completely free, you just need to clean up after yourself. Sorry to disappoint you that I didn't go to the gym and to the cinema room because I check it out but uh, I'll make it up to you maybe some other day. So this is a relaxed area. You can use it for stretching, yoga, meditation. Also, each floor has its own access to general waste and recycling bean shoots.
few more words about get living and specifically this apartment and maybe some disadvantages because if you are thinking about this building maybe you would like to keep that in mind so there are no sockets in the bathroom but this is a general thing in britain and this is only what you got there's no air conditioning and it could be a problem in summer because we have a sunny side so keep it in mind when you look for apartment in london and see one with ac it's a gem they're rare here because they're considered to be bad for environment the apartment comes furnished and you have an option to rent unfurnished apartment but it's not that much cheaper like at all like crazy not cheaper you have a kill move right no no <gasps> no no i heard that earlier you can actually like do some trade-offs with the get living and you can ask them to remove a table or remove a sofa and you can buy your own but now they don't do that and uh, whatever you want you can get rid of it store yourself and put back when your renting period ends it's not that big of a problem but i would prefer a different tv table here Plus, we don't have a bed sofa. This is a regular sofa and if anyone would come over, we would still need to buy a mattress. And I don't really like this table. We also do have these blackout curtains, but now I have an issue with the with them. Yeah, I do. Those are my insides, and uh, but I still like it. I like the apartment, I like the area, I like the building. Well, I think it's really a great place. But yeah, it's okay that after a while you just start to notice all these kind of uh, things that could be better or improved. And that's all right. That would happen to me in any place. That would be it for today. Thank you for watching. And if you're waiting for another sunset, Mm, I'm here to disappoint you and let me know what you think and would you live here or not. Cheers!